Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please. Welcome to Colton High School Stadium. As you sit and enjoy the graduation, please familiarize yourself with the entrance and exit gates on both visitor and home sides. In the event of an emergency, and we are required to evacuate, please locate the closest emergency exit. Spectators and students on the field are to clear the field as quickly as possible. Please exit immediately, but calmly. Look for CJUSD district safety officers or emergency responders, such as sheriff deputies or police officers to help guide you to the nearest gates, which are located to the north and south sides of the bleachers. Please vacate the area in an orderly fashion to prevent injury to those who are smaller in stature and are the elderly. Make way for any emergency responders who may be entering the stadium. Before we begin our ceremony today, I would like to state that our hearts are with the families and friends of the victims of the tragic shooting that occurred at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. At this time, let us bow our heads and observe a moment of silence to show our support for the entire community of Uvalde. Thank you. Now I would like to invite ASB President Joseph Duran to the stage. Will the audience please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Colton High School NJROTC to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by ASB President Joseph Duran and the Star Spangled Banner performed by Iris Garcia Zarate. Today's color guard cadets are Marco Delgado, Yuridia Cervantes, Abel Munoz, and Joseph Malaro. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I would like to invite Iris Garcia Zarate to sing our national anthem.
students, families, friends, please be seated. With great pride and pleasure, the staff and student body welcome you to Colton High School's 125th commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> On behalf of our seniors and staff, we would like to welcome our family members and friends and thank the superintendent and members of the Board of Education for attending this evening. We welcome this evening Superintendent Dr. Frank Miranda, Board President Bertha Flores, Vice President Joanne Thoring Ojeda, Clerk of the Board Frank Ibarra, Board Member Dan Flores. Board Member Israel Fuentes. Board Member Pat Haro. And Board Member Berenice Sandoval. Class of 2022, I want you to know how proud we are of you. You have persevered through very tumultuous times over these past four years. You have shown us all that you have grit and are able to overcome any adversity presented to you. As you move forward in your lives, I ask that you do so with care, compassion, and empathy for one another. Seek understanding before passing judgment. Seek to find solutions as opposed to contributing to problems. And most importantly, be courageous in everything that you do. In this ever-changing and challenging world, know that each one of us can only control two things. And those two things are our attitude and our effort. Approach everything in life with a positive mindset and ensure you put forth your very best effort. This is your day to celebrate you and your accomplishments and we are honored that you have allowed us to serve you these past four years. Seniors, we love you. And don't forget, once a yellow jacket, always a yellow jacket. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you our next speaker, the amazing Ms. Joda Murphy. Watching the class of 2022 grow from 9th grade to 12th graders was especially moving. To witness their strength and support of everyone around them was inspiring. I always reach out to the staff to find out what makes a graduating class so unique. And it's always a little game for me because you know I'm a little competitive to see if my memories match up with their sentiments. There was no doubting the similarities between what the staff sees and I see in the class of 2022. Ms. Leva described it perfectly when she said this class paved their own way because there was not a normal for you to fall back on. Every staff member who shared their thoughts with Mr. Abbott and I talked about the laughter and love that this class displayed. They talked about the infectious passion this group has for having fun so openly and so broadly, and it brought smiles to all of our faces and always made us adults want to join in. This class has very broad shoulders and extremely big hearts. You are strong, you are kind, and you are supportive. 
Your strength and support didn't extend just to classmates, but it extended to every single person around you. I'm reminded of some difficult times that may have occurred over this past year when we returned and some uh, kind of silly things that maybe some of the other classmen, some poor choices that they made around the senior bench area at lunchtime. And if you think back to one when I ended up on the ground with some of these underclassmen during one of these silly choices, I remember a student, senior girl, little girl, was just screaming at me with my, her finger in my face. And she said, Murphy, what were you doing? What were you thinking? You could have gotten hurt. If you recall, I started off this year with my foot injured and a little booty. And I remember thinking to myself, who is a senior girl to be yelling at me, the principal? And why does a senior girl make so much sense? While my story is silly and hopefully brought a smile to some of your faces, I know of numerous other stories where our senior strength and wisdom extended to everyone around us. Every year, I like to extend a piece of advice to the graduating class. With the class of 2022, I have no new wisdom for you to provide because you already provide an adult-like strength, compassion, and wisdom far beyond what you should have for your years. Instead, I wish for you to continue being you. You're beautiful people, you have big hearts, and you embrace joy. But when you embrace that joy, you make sure that it's Abbott and Murphy approved. I know you're gonna do well in this future. How could you not with such tremendous personalities? And for one last time, I wanna see those C's I would now like to introduce to you Ms. Bertha Flores, Board President. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. What a beautiful and special day for a graduation. Class of 2022, Colton Yellow Jackets. Today is your day. Today you graduate. And you all, by the way, look absolutely amazing. We are here to applaud you. Your families are up on the stands to celebrate you, to celebrate your accomplishments. You've worked hard these last four years, and now you have met all the requirements to receive your diploma. There is one thing that I can tell you with 100% certainty. And I tell you this as you sit here with your cap and gown. You have within you something special, a gift. Every single one of you has a gift. Some of you may already have an idea of what your gift is. Some of you, like myself at your age, it'll take a little longer. If you're a whiz at math, good for you. That's your gift. There is a path of success in this world for you. If you can draw, if you can play an instrument, that is your gift. There is a path for you. If you speak two or more languages, that is your gift. There's also a path for you. Your gift can be compassion, creativity, braveness, grit, and kindness. There's a place for you. If you have other skills and abilities, again, there is a place for you. Whatever your gift is, you need to embrace it. And you need to discover that gift, that passion that is within you, and use that gift to achieve your dreams. I can also tell you with 100% certainty, you will at times question yourself. 
you will ask yourself, what if? What if I try this and I fail? What if I don't belong here? What if I can't make it? Don't let that negative what if stop you. Fear can stifle you. Fear can prevent you from achieving your dreams. Instead, stay positive. Ask what if, but with a positive twist. What if I apply to this university and I'm accepted? What if I submit this application and I get my dream job? What if I save enough money to buy my first car or my first home? Graduates, never, ever give up on your dreams. I have a story, a what if story, and a never give up story. Jose Hernandez spent his childhood along with his family working in the fields, picking strawberries and cucumbers in Stockton, California. By the fifth grade, Jose knew what he wanted to be. He wanted to be an astronaut. He applied for college and was accepted. So he worked hard, became an electrical engineer, and pursued his dream of becoming an astronaut. He applied to NASA, and he was rejected 11 times before NASA finally accepted him on the 12th try. Now, on his sixth try, he was ready to call it quits, to give up. But he didn't. He asked the question, what if the next time I apply, I'm selected? So he kept trying. He did not give up. Even with the competition being tough with over 12,000 candidates, he did not give up. On August 28, 2009, Jose Hernandez became NASA's first Mexican-American astronaut to go from working in the fields to being launched into space as an astronaut aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. What did Jose Hernandez teach us? He taught us to never, ever give up on our dreams. I'm sharing this story with you because he wants his story to be told to inspire you, young people like you, to pursue whatever your dream, whatever your dream is at this time or in the future. Graduates, never, ever give up. Here's another story. Simon Silva, an artist. Simon Silva was born in Mexicali. And like Jose Hernandez, Simon Silva's family had many financial challenges. His childhood was not easy being one of 11 children. At a very, very early age, he took up drawing. They were so poor that he would draw his pictures on paper bags from the grocery store. When he was in high school, one of his teachers entered one of his drawings in a contest and, he, and told him, one day, Simon, one day you will be famous. And he thought, what if she's right? So he kept drawing and to this day, Simon Silva's artwork appears around the world in very distinguished exhibits. What did Simon Silva teach us? He pursued his dream. He knew he wanted to become an artist and he never, ever gave up. In spite of his obstacles, he never gave up on his passion, on his gift. Graduates, never, ever give up on your dreams. I want you to take these examples of gifts and never giving up that I've illustrated in the successes of Jose Hernandez and Simon Silva as proof 
that dreams come true as long as you never give up on your dreams. Graduates, never, ever give up. So, I need your help on this. You thought that you had turned in your last homework assignment. Well, here is one last assignment for you. Tonight, I want you to think about this. What is your gift? What is your passion? Ask your friends. You all have close friends. You've hung out with them for the last four years. Some of you have friends that go back to kindergarten. Ask your teachers. Ask your family. They probably know what your gift is even before you do. They know you better than anyone. You can do the same to your fr for your friends. Tell them. Tell them what their special gift is. Tell them how they have touched your life with their gift. Encourage and support your friends. Graduates, never, ever give up. To the parents out in the, in the, st in the stage, uh, up in the audience, in the stands, who are here to celebrate your graduate, you must be so proud of your children sitting here tonight with their caps and gowns. Whether it's your oldest child graduating or your youngest child graduating, it is truly a proud moment. Whether your grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, I can only imagine your emotions right now. And we, as a board, share your joy. On behalf of the Board of Education, I say thank you. Thank you for entrusting us with the education of your children. It has been a privilege and an honor to watch them develop into young adults sitting here in front of us today. We have been partners with you on this journey. It is our ultimate wish to see our students leave our district not only with academic proficiency and skills they need to thrive in college and in the workforce, but also to contribute to the world by showing compassion, empathy towards others, by showing integrity, by doing the right thing even when it's difficult. A ustedes, los padres de familia. Ustedes están en ahorita sentados en el estadio celebrando la graduación de sus hijos. Qué orgullo han de sentir ver a sus hijos en, con su toga y birrete. Ya sea su hijo o hija mayor, o puede que sea el último, el hijo menor, el orgullo es el mismo. Puede que ustedes sean el abuelito, la abuelita, tías, tíos, hermanos. Es verdad, de, verdaderamente un orgullo para ustedes. Solo me puedo imaginar las emociones que sienten ahorita. Nosotros, la mesa directiva de este distrito, compartimos su alegría. De parte de la mesa directiva, les damos las gracias. Gracias por la confianza que nos han tenido para educar y preparar a sus hijos. Ha sido un privilegio y un honor ver a sus hijos desarrollarse en los jóvenes que están aquí sentados hoy. Es nuestro mayor deseo que nuestros estudiantes dejen el distrito, no solamente con la proficiencia académica y habilidades que necesitan, para prosperar en la universidad y en el mundo del trabajo, pero también que puedan contribuir al mundo demostrando compasión, empatía, que demuestren integridad, haciendo lo correcto aun cuando es difícil hacerlo, y ser líderes atentos y considerados con la meta de tener un impacto positivo en el mundo que los rodea. 
to our teachers sitting here tonight, to our counselors sitting here tonight, administrators, every secretary, every custodian, every security officer, instructional aide, every staff member who are enthusiastically dedicated to the education of our students. I say thank you. Thank you for ensuring our students receive what they need when they need it, for being there during their trials and during their successes. Thank you. Colton High School 2022 graduates, you make us proud. We wish you the best. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Board President Flores. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce you all to our valedictorian for the class of 2022, Sadie Larios. Sadie is now graduating Colton High School with a 4.47 GPA and will attend the University of California, Los Angeles in the fall where she will major in English. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Miss Sadie Larios. Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> we have all taken different paths in our lives, but all those paths have led us to this moment right here. As we celebrate, I want to give advice I wish someone could have told me four years ago. If you've known me these past four years, you would have known that I found myself constantly worrying about the future. It first started when I began worrying about that night's homework, next week's quiz, next year's classes, college, my career, marriage, and when I would have kids. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Then at one point in my life, I'd be considered successful. In other words, I began worrying about tomorrow. But I've noticed these past four years, I wasn't the only one that felt that way. And because I'm standing here, I feel like people believe that I have it all figured out. At least academically, I thought I did too. That was until I got rejected from my dream school, USC. And it left me sort of wondering if the last four years spent pushing myself every day was even worth it. In other words, I was back to worrying about tomorrow. But I've taken that worry and decided to leave here not as a USC Trojan, but instead as a UCLA Bruin. <laughs> yes, I got into UCLA and USC missed out. Even if it was not my initial plan, I feel good about my decision. I feel good because this year I learned the hard way that when we all leave here tonight, we only have one job. That job is to make it to tomorrow. Instead of, us, <laughs> instead of us making our own hypothetical plans that stretch out for years that could be ruined by a single rejection letter, I now realize that we can only really take it one day at a time. In other words, I now welcome tomorrow. I wish someone four years ago would have told little freshman Sadie that the day needs to end for new and good to begin as we all face our own rejection letters. I want to leave my class of 22 with the reminder that life does give us second chances, and it's called tomorrow. Lastly, after we leave here tonight, hug your loved ones because we can't promise today, and we certainly cannot promise tomorrow. I want to take this moment to thank my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, Alejandro, Mr. Dollins, my beautiful sisters, Jaylene and Samantha, and my friends who made these, pa these past four years the best years I've come to ask for. Congratulations again, <laughs> class of 2022. <laughs> wow. And now I'd like to introduce to you all 
our salutatorian for the class of 2022, Tiffany True. <laughs> Tiffany will be attending the University of California, Riverside in the fall where she will major in political science. <laughs> Families and friends, I present to you Miss Tiffany True. Good evening, everyone, to all the parents that are here, my friends, our staff, faculty, alumni, and most importantly, the main characters that sit in front of all of us tonight. A big round of applause for the graduating class of 2022. Congratulations, everyone. I'd like to say that all our hard work personal breakdowns and sleepless nights surviving off of coffee and energy drinks have finally paid off. And we are now ready to take our first steps as adults into the real world. It's been an honor to have grown up alongside you all throughout the years, and I am blessed to have the privilege to reflect on our collective journey at this school. Looking back at our sophomore and junior year, no one really knew what kind of effect the global pandemic would have on our lives. And as we struggled to navigate through distance learning, I think it's safe to say that each of us has had our own, and to say the very least, unique experiences. Surviving off of a combination of good and bad times. You know those times of waking up five minutes before a Google Meet? Those countless times of taking care of our siblings during classes, or times of cooking lunch as our classes were still in session. And I'm sure you all know those times of pretending our cameras were broken because we might have looked just a teeny bit busted that day. But I mean, regardless of our experiences and struggles during quarantine, I think it would be safe to say that there was one thing we all shared in common as we returned back to campus this year. We all shared that same eagerness to take advantage of and participate in all school activities like no other class that has preceded us. Having been deprived of social events for almost two years, I've really come to treasure the value of the opportunities I once took for granted my freshman year. Evidently, you all did too. Compared to previous years, there is a noticeable spike in the amount of seniors that attended homecoming, prom, grad night, and even our home games. Let's face it, we all have never witnessed a home football game where the bleachers were so packed and oozing with, with school spirit, similar to what we see today, let alone the 190 grad night tickets that sold out in a flash. My only hope today is that we all make an effort to channel that same enthusiasm we had coming back from quarantine into every aspect of our lives from this day forward. When you leave this field today, remember to be proud. Celebrate your accomplishments, and most importantly, approach the upcoming chapters of your journey with that same desire and ambition to make the most out of your life with no regrets. It's in our nature to not recognize the value of something until we lose it. So don't forget, nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. And that's all I have for you all today. So let's give it up for the graduating class of 2022. Senior class president, Crystal Mendoza, will now present the senior class gift to Colton High School. Families and friends, Crystal Mendoza. Good evening, graduates, faculty, Colton alumni, and family and friends. 
I would like to start off by giving a moment of silence to our fellow classmates who have passed away. Dominic Gallegos and Leslie Menor will forever hold a special place in many people's hearts. Sadly, they can't physically be here with us on this day, but they will be walking across the biggest stage in heaven. I know they are extremely proud of us graduates. Seniors, the day has finally come. What you believe was impossible, you made it possible. The best or worst four years of your life has now come to an end. Those four years of being in the same place every weekday is now over. I would like to congratulate all of you seniors. We are here today to celebrate all the hard work we have done over these past 13 years. The class of 2022 has had the opportunity of being the first class in three years to get their full senior year due to everything that has happened in our life with this pandemic. On behalf of my classmates, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has made a big impact in our lives as high school students. We truly do appreciate all the support. To my family, my biggest support system, thank you for all that you do for me. I love you guys with all my heart. I like to thank my parents for being my guidepost and always leading me in the right direction these past 18 years of my life. You show me all the love a little girl could want. To my older brother, I am so proud of everything you have done for the life you want to live. But my ultimate inspiration comes from my best friend, my big sister. I look up to you more and more every day. You are my backbone and taught me that anything I want in my life is possible. Who would have known that these four years would fly by as fast as they did? It is such a bittersweet moment that we will remember for the rest of our life. Life is short. Cherish your time and don't take it for granted. We are all still so young and are about to take the biggest step into our adulthood. Live in the moment. There's a whole world out there we have yet to explore. As your senior class president, it is with pride that I announce our annual class gift. I would like to present the CHS marquee letters. These letters will now join our future Yellow Jackets and all events to come, such as Friday Night Lights, school dances, and award ceremonies. Thank you to all the teachers and staff who made this possible. Congratulations, class of 2022. Seniors, we did it. At this time, we now invite our board of trustees along with our superintendent to please come forward. Board member, superintendent, please come to the stage. Families and friends, on behalf of the administration and staff at Colton High School, it gives me great pleasure to verify that the class of 2022 has met all the graduation requirements of Colton High School, the Colton Joint Unified School District, and the state of California. We ask Dr. Miranda, our superintendent, to accept our class and present them to the Board of Education for the conferring of the diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Abbott and Ms. Murphy. As superintendent of the Colton Joint Unified School District, I accept the class of 2022 as candidates for commencement, and I applaud the members of this class for their successful endeavors. Ms. Flores, as president of the board, I am pleased to present to you the Colton High School class of 2022, affirming that they have fulfilled all of the state and local requirements and certify that they are the 125th graduating class of Colton High School. Thank you, Dr. Miranda. As president of the Board of Education and on behalf of the Colton Joint Unified School District and the Board of Trustees, I am honored to begin the conferring of diplomas and the presentation of names from the class 
of 2022. First row of graduates, please stand. And come forward. Matthew Raymond Sosa Contreras. Alyssa Elizabeth Gonzalez. Madison Leanne Barrera. Nayeli Geronimo. Brittany Desiree Daigle. Kathy Samantha Montezuma Ibarra. Emelia Brito Capray. Lisette Oropesa. Andrew Rodriguez. Geraldine Montiel Ramirez. Amy. Xochil Alejandra Jimenez Muñiz. Ariana Tiffany True Lisbeth Eileen Zamora Sadie Larios Alejandro Manuel Ruiz Christopher Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Viviana Gonzalez. Joshua Israel. Is Escobar. Joseph Diaz. Julian Eric LeMay. Nate Ramirez. Bur Brian Arellano Ar Angel Isabel Gonzalez <laughs> Edwin Torres <laughs> Brooke Evelyn Carlson Alexis Nave Murrieta. Leilani Gabriela Marquez Villegas. Alondra Jimenez. Isaiah Daniel Colunga. Julissa Arellano. Yvette Gonzalez. Bella Gonzalez. Layla Carmen Sanchez. Please, Boutier. Felipe de Jesus Ventura Gonzalez. <laughs> Sofia. Giovanni Petch. Uh, 
Ala. Jonathan Anthony Alvarado. Jocelyn Janie Saucedo. William Sierra. Nayeli Saraí Reyes. Joshua Andrade. Julissa Sandoval Lara. Brian Ledesma. Brenda Maria Luisa Sanchez. Hunter Kelly. Zoe Isabella Ixtupe. Caitlin Alexander. Araceli Maldonado Delfín. Stephanie Perez. Nestor Adán Contreras. Isaiah Nathaniel Botelo. David Sanchez. Serenity Marie Caldera. Oh, oh, sorry. Mariano Andres Apodá. Ingrid Rubí Luna Hernández. Brian Gomez. Daisy Alexandra Lopez. Natalie Renee Yanez Garcia. Mariah Alyssa Perez. Daniela Pica Trujillo. Angelina Ray Robledo. Caitlin Janice Valencia. Leslie Lisette Larios. Jason Lopez. Anthony Gomez. Jacob Giovanni Maciel. Emily Ray Hernandez. Marisa Herrera. Ariel Alexis Ortiz. Jeff City Cristina Hernandez Moreno. Stephanie Gomez. Carissa Ann Escobar. Iris Cassandra Garcia Zarate. Adriana Andrade. Valerie Adriana Andrade. Noemi Elizabeth Medrano. Eric Hernandez Ureno. Melanie Sofia Lopez Torres. Cassandra Marie Tolentino. Yesenia Cruz Sandoval. Karime Guadalupe Parra. Alfonso Dovi Jr. Desiree Renee Ayala. Cristal Marina Ramirez. Jennifer Ariana Callejas. Adrina Salina Melgoza. Eric Alexander Guzman. Jeremy Ortega. Emma Josephine Arroyo. Itati Morales Gallardo. Luciana Lopez. Ashley Oleta. Araceli Emily Reyes. Mariah Sylvia Kapersky. Jacqueline Brianna Ramirez. Reina Marisol Chavez. Rosita Gutierrez. Ashley Soledad Cardona. Jessica Calderon. 
Gabriela Valenzuela, Heriberto Ramón Márquez, Andrea Natalí Quintero Palomares, Jacqueline Valdez, Wendy María Flores, Roman Vista Sanchez, Isaiah Daniel Ramirez, Jimmy Jordan Carillo, Jason Vega, Juan Carlos Serrano Rodriguez, Abel Cesar Rivero Cesena, Andrew Francisco Carranza, Daniel Raymond Hernandez, Sofia Romos Rodriguez, Maria Guadalupe Juarez Munguia, Juliana Danavaro, Elena Renee Anderson, Felicity Castillo, Angela Marie Alvarado, Abel Figueroa. Carla Vanessa Bustamante Paz. Devin Justin Rizzo. Sarah Rose. Mari, ma, ma, no, no, we hold it. Mario Alberto Mayorga Martinez. Jocelyn Delgadillo. Crystal Lama. Natalie Herrera. Jay David. Ruben Pablo Sandoval. Ernesto Gutierrez. Brian Flores. Jesus Barumen. <laughs> Daniel Edward Gonzalez. Joe Bastida. Jonathan Henry Osorio Sarmiento. Brandon Dysart. Yeah. Emmanuel Alejandro Hernandez. Yeah. Eric Arturo Castro. Yeah. Luis Alberto Aviles. Yeah. Annabel Solano. Yeah. Brandon Rafael Jean Garcia. Michelle Cardenas. Cristian Miguel Sierra Garcia. David Chacoyo. Nayeli Covarrubias Partida. Joseph Duran. Diana Saraí Fernandez. Crystal Mendoza. Marina Aviana Yaregui. Yaregui. Howdy. Dania Diaz. Nayeli Gordillo. Carla Denise Alberto. Lillian Rose Aguirre. Elena Torero. Lorielli Palafox Toscano. <laughs> Zarina Ave Acevedo. <laughs> Guadalupe Vasquez. <laughs> Lia Corral. <laughs> Paola Giselle Sepúlveda Equija. <laughs> Rayan Veronica Angulo. Julissa Aribet Perez. <laughs> Jolina Renee Caldera. <laughs> Alma Linda Vasquez. <laughs> Renee Alexandra Soto. 
Jerry Joel Toriz Solis. Jennifer Ordaz Pacheco. Daniela Alejandra García Hernández. Cesar Manuel Arreola. Bianca Isabela Román. Richard Dale Black. Enrique Baltasar Jr. Arturo Israel Morelos. Emily Isabela Valle. Emily Sandoval. Lisbeth Sandoval Sandoval. Jeanette Marentes. Ashley Solís López. Sergio Lomeli Jr. Alexia Anaí Navarrete González. Anthony Victor Aguayo. Bianca Adonai Díaz. Damien Nathaniel Valdez. Cristal Rentería. Justine Elise Estrada. Sydney Elizabeth Castro. Alexia Marie Castor. Rita Natalie Mariscal. Susana Corbeton. Kyrie Lara. Giselle Rosalind Ladd. Anthony Isaac Andrade. Jocelyn Lene Alcala. Diana Rodriguez. Isaac Gutierrez. Gabriela Elman. Adan Sanchez. Alexa Victoria Parra Felix. Michael Figueroa. Gael Razo. Aileen Luna. Isamar Rodela Uriarte. Christopher Michael Velasquez Bramet. Jacob Sean Friend. Gilbert Anthony Alvarez. Leonardo Norzagaray. Jaylene Renee Aguilar. Vanessa Quintero Duenes. Isis Emery Valenzuela. Karen Lilian Medina Arciniega. Reinaldo Muro Jr. Jennifer Daniela Casilla Cervantes. Brianna Catherine Rabanan. Victor Giovanni Martinez Peraza. Darío Bravo. Carlos Alejandro Mejía López. José Jesús Rubalcaba. Steven Rodela. Joe Steve Ramírez. Abraham William Robles. Rafael Ábalos Hernández. Jasmine Daniela Rodas Garcia. Danny Garcia. Ulises Ramón Orozco Beltrán. Heaven Lee Aguilar. Gael González. Kimberly Ramirez Ramirez. Antonio Aguilar González. Luis Daniel Martinez. Joshua Chimeti Mota. Brian Josue Salas. Alexander Oloteo. Robert Padilla. Yadeli Serna. Hugo Flores Revolorio. Uh, Crystal Torres. 
David Torres. Mackenzie Salih Koperski. Isabel Al Vargas. Alfredo Michel Oropesa. Elena Santana. Kevin Marcos Gonzalez. Angelique Altamea. Adriana Mercedes Napoles. Samantha Menchaca. Monica Yareli Perez Lopez. Cynthia Serrano. Tania Lorenzo Morales. Yajera Montserrat Avalos. Jamie Santos Magaña. Maganda. Jackson Reisner. Miriam Aurora Alvarado Vasquez. April Nunez. Alexander Ray Valencia. Veronica Garelupe Larios. Nicole Luzbelia Guzman Baltazar. Adrian Negretti. <laughs> Ashley Colleen Valle. Leonel Garcia Rodriguez. Angel Manuel Rivera Rivas. Adrian Luna. Emmanuel Herrera. David Martinez Jr. Martin Perez Alvarez. Jacob Riviera. Rigoberto Mendez Jr. Dino Paul Negretti. Jacob Alexander Franco. Miguel Sarabia. Adrian Frankie Ramirez. Alex Solis. Joshua Axel Villarreal Chaires. Lindy Denise Davila. John Xavier Villalpando. Miguel Bautista. Bryce Martinez. Alex Alpizar. Jacob Ramos. <laughs> Isai Chuk. Marcos Isaac Mendoza Jr. Maria Bramudez. <laughs> Sam Alcala. <laughs> Elena Cristina Rimere. Michael Razo. Maria de los Angeles Rivera. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Bisone. Andrea Yamilet Melchor. Steven Medina Jr. Camilo Antonio Aguirre. Nicholas Xavier Rios. Cesar Ortiz. <laughs> Jennifer Flores Vega. Brian Julian Maldonado Altamirano. Saraí Torres Vias. Daniel Aguayo Ramirez. Jacob Anthony Zuniga. Macario Angelo Becerria Tan. Santiago Salas Vargos. Jesus Jose Hernandez. Cesar Miguel Horta. Nathan Isaac Sierra. Joel Matias. And 
Anthony Reynaga. Laniz Juliana Tomaza Pacheco. Alexis Jesús de la Torre. Rogelio Rodríguez Molina. Omar Leiva Solís. Cassandra Catarino. Isaac Jerónimo Orozco. Alexis Mejia Perez. Natalie Cáceres. Celeste Martinez. Alexander Daniel Aguayo. Diana Escarega. Alexis Aguirre. Serena Manzanares. Joshua Norberto Geiner. Kimberly Rodriguez. Nathan Anthony Torres. Madison Sierra Carranza. Alexis Angelina Torres. Leticia Bell Deming. Leah Stevie Palma. Isabel Teresa Deming. Elizabeth Lara. Elisa Leanne Murrieta. Andy Ruiz Amaya. Precious Culberson. Damar Bolton. Giselle Alexandra Rivera. Andrew Xavier Perez Hernandez. Edgar Christopher Castellanos. Mariah Angelina Martinez. Leslie Melina, Melissa Cortez. Savannah Raylene Munoz. Naylin Hall. Alina Ariana Garcia. Daniel Omar Lemos. Robert Xavier Valenzuela. Gabriel Martinez Jr. Christopher Antonio Ballin. Luis Galvan Lopez. Maria Michelle Estrada. Sergio Modesto Alcala. Brianna Sofia Trevino. Edgar Javier Lomas Chavez. Dominic Manuel Oropesa. Leonel Casillas. Omar Alejandro Martinez Jr. Carlos Lizardi. Donovan Robert Mendoza. Cristian Quintero. Máximo Ramos. Adrián Holguín Ordaz. All right, seniors, we weren't going to get out of here without another issue we have to overcome, huh? Right? Okay, senior vice president Ashley Oletta and the class of 2022 officers will now come forward for the traditional turning of the tassels. Our class of 2022 officers are Stephanie Gomez, Ariel Ortiz, and Zarina Acevedo.
Can you say that word? Conferred? Conferred? Seniors, now that our diplomas have been conferred, please turn your tassels from right to left. <laughs> the senior class officers will now lead us in the alma mater. Come and join in song together, shout with might and main. Our beloved alma mater, sound her praise again. Always lead her full of glory, praise her to the skies. She's the best in California, hail to Boston High! Should we tell her to come? We can do it too, what? Two, two, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Graduates, it is now time for our very last class yell. Do what? On the count of three, we're going to throw our caps. One. 